Hello and welcome back for more Fallout New Vegas. So the last time around, if you remember, we got shot in the face. And let me just say, being shot in the face isn't fun nor cool. So here we are now. We're heading around Good Springs. We're going to go ahead and talk to the bartender and such in here. I believe... Well, there's the Prospector Saloon, so I believe that's where we have to go. But... Can we just walk around other places to just see what's going on? Oh, we got some people over here. Excuse me, guy in overalls. What have you got to say for yourself? Howdy. Indeed. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Okay. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. No offense taken. Some very awkward strangers shot me in the face, so that should say something right there. Moving along... Ah, Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Okay, so we got cheap ammo. Give you cheap results, but it is what it is. You get, you get what you can get. Uh, tell me about the weapon mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Shocker, I suppose. Uh, weapon mods and special ammo, we already knew. What makes su surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Yeah, because they're crap. You get what you paid for again. What about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. The NCR, I have to say, they have a very interesting little flag. You have Harold and Griswold, the two-headed bear. What about, have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots... You don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Yeah, I get the feeling it's about how Las Vegas goes. You go, get drunk, blow all your money, then you walk back piss poor. Is that a pot to piss in? There you go. What about this Mr. House? Is he a doctor? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Or what if Mr. House was the one who put the bullet in my face after he hired those goons? Oh, that could be it. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khan's dealing illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Okay, so I guess we should probably take a look to see what you have for sale. Can do. And I've got what? <sighs> I've got about 18 caps. That's great. So let's just get out of here. I know I'm not going to be able to buy nothing. Alright, thank you. I gotta stop hitting that button. Thank you. Goodbye. Take it easy now. Not a problem. All right, let's go over here and talk to the people here. Can I go in the outhouse shed thing? No, it's not even an outhouse shed, it's just a big box. And I could punch it for nothing. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here. Well, who's this old old guy over here? Easy Pete? Oh, whoa, okay. Easy Pete. Oh, he looks like one of these old toothless prospectors. Oh, by gum! I don't have any teeth when I eat pizza, but I can tell you what, I can sure gum it to death. I love me some pizza, gum it up real good like. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, would you like some dentures, Easy Pete? 
Uh, you anything about those who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, I gotta say, Easy Pete's got some teeth, so at least he's taking care of himself. So why do you call it the Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Okay. You were a prospector, like digging and doing the gold thing? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. So in other words, he's basically just like a bandit. That's like saying, you know what, I don't like the term stealing, so I'm going to say I'm borrowing it without returning. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm, I'm a borrower. I borrow things without returning. Oh, yeah, I can see where this is going. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. They're all easy, Pete. Got too old for this shit. What's wrong with the NCR and their two-headed bear flag that I enjoy? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Of course, they got Harold and Griswold, the two-headed bear. What a great logo that is. Hey, Griswold, look at the can of food over here can we get? Ugh, Harold, get off my back. You're always bothering me. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar. Or Caesar. Or Caesar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river. So keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. No, oh, them legionaries. Okay, so what's so important about the Hoover Dam? I could probably answer this one. Beside being near New Vegas and having the water supply and such, and electricity. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Well, that was it. What to use Bighorners for? Oh my god, so many questions. Okay, first, what do you know about Victor, that robot that saved me? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. <laughs> okay, maybe it just wants peace and quiet. I mean, in the end, that's kind of what we all want, really. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. So wait a minute, you can't use them for much because they're just like, eh, screw it, I'm not doing anything. But then if you go to... <laughs> Never mind, I guess you go to get them for meat and they're like, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. Goodbye, Easy Pete. Glad to see you got some teeth. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Oh, them blasted critters. Making Easy Pete work for hard for the money. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, so your sunny smiles. Not the most sunniest of smiles, but still. Kind of cute. Doc Mitchell said you... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to go to Prim. Can you suggest a route? I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. What do you do around here? Uh, what do you do around here? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. 
Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Okay. What about Good Springs? Sure. What do you want to know? I don't know. Are there any other towns around nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Surprising. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Wonderful. What about the NCR? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Yeah, really? Okay, so we kind of know what they keep them safe from, really. If you want to know anything else, just ask. We know they're doing battle with each other, so big shocker there. Um, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Jeez, okay, well, whatever. Anything else in here we can go ahead and explore around? And cannot be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If you can correct incorrectly, you'll be shown how many letters match the correct password. And in the correct location. Uh, what? You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain accessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking anytime and try again. Bye bye. Force the security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. Okay. Well, that's all fun. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? I wonder what I can get from all of this. And... Words. Okay, so holy crap, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can actually move around and actually types up like that. That's pretty cool. What about sharper? Entry denied. Three out of seven correct. Okay. Uh, meaning? One out of seven correct. Holy crap. Leaving. Oh, crap. Lockout imminent. Um. Uh, oh, my God. There's so much crap here. It's not even funny. What about. Uh. Playing. Terminal lock, please contact him. Oh, God, get out of here. I've lost karma. Oh, that sucks. Time to have some fun with our guy. Where is our guy? There's Easy Pete. Clearly, he's not our guide. And, okay, here she is. Okay, let's have some fun with Sunny Smiles. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Yeah, 